Now, I am really excited for Mike's Local Gourmet today because it's a, I hear it's a vegetarian-friendly recipe. Yes, it is. It's an Italian classic that is so simple to make, but it's packed with flavor. So check it out. This is Mike's Local Gourmet with the Grill on Gage in Kennewick, and we're making pesto. Welcome back to the Grill on Gage and Gage Boulevard in Kennewick. As always, I'm joined by Chef Brian Hodges, the head chef at the Grill on Gage. And today, we're going to be making pesto, an earthy, rustic, Italian dish that goes very well, obviously, with pasta. But of course, this works well with most food, chicken, fish, whatever, whatever you really want to put it on. So, Brian, there's a particular order to this that we want to follow in order to keep our pesto looking appropriate, right? Looking and tasting appropriate. Okay. That's good. So what we need is a food processor here that's going to be important to combining all of our ingredients. So what do we have to do first? First we want to start, we'll put in a little lemon juice. Let's see about a quarter cup. And we're going to start with our thick ingredients first, but definitely we want to start with the basil. The acid will keep the pesto green. We do not want our pesto turning brown. That would be the goal. Put that in there. Okay. Once you puree it down, you might find you need more or less. And definitely, you don't have to worry about getting all the basil pureed straight away. Don't overprocess it. Okay. You don't want to put in your pine nuts now. Now, if you don't have pine nuts at home, you can use another kind of earthy nut, like even like a walnut. Almonds work quite well as well. Almonds. The Parmesan. We're looking about a quarter cup of that as well. Okay. So notice that we're keeping our thick ingredients together here before adding everything else that we need. Now the pine nuts are going to provide a very nice body to this pesto outside of the already fresh and earthy ingredients that we have from the basil and lemon. Now we add in the pine nuts and that gives it a more full bodied texture as well as flavor. The nuttiness really complements the lemon and the basil very well together. So now that we have that pretty well processed together, we're going to add our garlic so it's not over processed. Don't be shy with the garlic here. You're making Italian food. Maybe about half a cup <laughs> there. Now we're going to put an olive oil in. And you don't have to make this like a vinegar or anything. You can put all the olive oil in at the same time. Okay. And don't be shy. This is half the flavor too. This should be your finished product here, a very nice light sauce that is packed with flavor from the pine nuts, the cheese, the olive oil, the basil. And if you would like to get Brian's mm. recipe, oh, absolutely. Oh, that's amazing. I mean, again, you can taste all of the ingredients that we just put into it, the pine nuts, the Parmesan cheese, the basil, the olive oil, even the salt and pepper. So if you'd like to get Brian's pesto recipe to use at home, so you can prepare at home, just go to our website, NBCRightNow.com. See, the great thing about pesto is that it functions as, as itself as a dish. You can use it as a dip for a party, or it works really well, of course, with pasta and most meats as well. And if you'd like the recipe, it's on our website, NBCRightNow.com, and on our Facebook page, KDO and KDU TV, right now. Looks pretty delicious. I can continue the trend of eating dinner foods for breakfast and make some at home. <laughs> Why not? Okay, there you go.